Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We have two internet and television sensations with us today. We've got the Ilvis brothers. Gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome thank to... Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> my, you, thank you. My pleasure. This is MIP TV, the MIP TV show with Imagination in Motion. I, I'm Great. so pleased you got here. What, wh when did you arrive, gentlemen? Uh, we arrived uh, Sunday, which is two days ago. Is it? Yeah. I, can't, I can barely see. I'm virtual, so I don't ever sleep. No, and, and things happen down here th uh, that makes you uh, not able to do those mathematics. So oh, I that's true. did that for you. Yeah, thank you for doing yeah. that. That's very good. And, uh, and Bord, when did you come? Did you come at the same time? Same time. Uh, oh. Yes. So you do travel everywhere together? Uh, yeah, not the bathrooms, obviously, <laughs> but uh, we, no. tr we try to stick together. We're family, so you don't, you never know. No, that's true. That's true. Well, you stick with me for the next few minutes, and we'll we'll just ride the journey of your life. I uh, will do. All right. So my name is David Fox, and you can call me David. David. Yes, you have to say it like that, David. David. Nice. We're on board together. You look very nice for a virtual guy. Well, I, I don't know any bad-looking virtual guys, oh, to be I, fair. I really like the amount of polygons and vortices in your you, face. Oh, <laughs> listen, you're getting technical with me. <laughs> yeah, you're talking bits and bites. My, 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 my. So listen, guys, you have had a journey, have you not? 740 million hits yeah. on YouTube for, what was the song? Uh, it's uh, related to your show. It's actually about your show. We yeah. just, uh, yeah, we knew about it. So what does the fox say? That's correct. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I would be waiting hours to say that. <laughs> Being David Fox myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, so guys, um, you, you not only uh, wrote a song which has gone viral to the tune of four hundred. For 740 million viewers, but you you are on television shows in Norway as well, aren't you? Tell tell us a bit about that. Well, we have been uh, doing... Uh, actually, the Fox song was a part of a, a talk show, okay. uh, a Norwegian talk show uh, called Tonight with Ilvis. And yep. uh, we ran that for five seasons and we got uh, sick of it. So uh, <laughs> we we started with clean sheets and made a new concept, which uh, just... Very good. When it, when it dies, throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throw it away. That's fantastic. And um, the audience figures for that were massive, weren't they? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. The audience figures for that show were massive, weren't they? Uh, we don't know. We never get these uh, figures, but no one has sacked us, so I guess they were okay. Well, you're going in the right direction. Yeah. Well, you know, we're from Norway, so nothing gets massive. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just uh, the rocks and the, <laughs> the ocean and stuff. Massive rocks. Uh, yeah. Yes, I think, didn't Slarty Bartfast make the rocks around Norway in, uh, in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Do you know that? Yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't read it. Oh, okay. Sorry. I think you did the crinkly bits I around should, the edges. I should have. No, don't no. worry about it. No. So. So, you're big on television, that's a fact. You're big on the internet, that's an undeniable truth. Tell me, what's next for you? Well, we have just uh, released a new show called Stories from Norway. Uh, okay. Just aired the last episode in Norway yesterday, actually. Oh, and, oh uh, right. And how did that go down? It went down well, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, people seem to uh, like it, if we can say so ourselves. And, uh, yeah, of course was, you can. It was very much fun to, to, to make. So tell me about the concept of stories from Norway. What it's all about? Um, what's What's interesting about the concept is that we we found out that we we love to do those uh, high production value things like uh, the music videos that yep. we were talking about, and we also like things that come that has their origin from the reality. So we found out how we're going to mix those two things. And what we do is we find stories, like real-time historical events, yes. and we try to uh, interview people that has witnessed it or has something to do with it. And we interview them uh, deadpan series, straight, you know, on a black background, yep. uh, like a Band of Brothers style. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we um, sort of tell the story by making comedy musical uh, like yeah, making it into a comedy musical, yeah, and mix those two genres together. Uh, uh, okay, I'm getting I'm getting a picture in my mind. It's 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 coming together. But I've also noticed when you've been talking about Norway that um that you've kind of got you've got a sort of attitude towards Norway. You know, it's not particularly big. It's big in my mind. Yeah, you've got a little attitude towards it. Like I might have an attitude towards Britain and England. Yeah, what it, what, what is your attitude? Well, you know, we we're, we're a small country. We like to maybe. Uh, try to be bigger than we are. We right. we, we uh, try to wear bigger shoes than our feet in sort of <laughs> way. So so uh, so that's that's what we're trying to to tell ourselves in this uh, this series. Sort of uh, give ourselves the the 
um, a, a description to to other people how we would describe Norway to to foreigners. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so Bod, when you were um, shooting the stories from Norway series, um, any bizarre things happen? Unusual things happen at all? Uh, well, hard to come up with the, on the, on the spot like that. But okay. it's been it's been very uh, interesting. There were, we've been shooting scenes in Portugal when I was wearing a dress and we were on quad bikes okay. uh, with a priest okay. driving okay. behind us. It's tell me, tell me what color your dress was. I want to know. It was white. It was a bridal dress. I looked smashing. I, yes. I, smashing. Yeah. You looked absolutely smashing. Yes. I, I bet you looked wonderful in a bridal dress. I turned into quite the bridezilla. <laughs> a bridezilla. Yeah. Very good. Did you have a? Did you have? Um, a veil as well to go I had a head. long veil. Did you? Well, not on the quad bike. We had to cut it down for yeah, safety. Of course. But uh, at the actual fun. wedding, it yeah, was... Yeah, it was very very fun because the, the priest yes. that was uh, on his own quad bike, he had he had his, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a gown or... A, uh, a his big, surplus. Yeah. And it, it sort of uh, filled up like a sail, you know, or oh, a parachute. Wow. So he, he became like Twice the size on his quad bike there with his. Uh, so he really was garments. surplus. Yeah, <laughs> he was enormously surplus. Very much so. Wow. That, yeah. And and um and that, what did the quad bikes have to do? What were you doing with those? Um, we were actually trying to recreate a, a viral hit, an older song, Muhumbi's uh, Bumpy Ride. Okay, and it was and also presumably... on quad bikes. Oh, okay. So we're running out of ideas, so we just use other yeah. people's ideas. Yeah, well, listen, when you run out of ideas, recycle old ideas. Yeah. I mean, after all, I it mean, look at me. I'm a classic recycled idea. There you go. Yeah, exactly. So, so um, stories uh, from Norway. Um, where is it going to go in the world, do you think? Um, I mean, uh, it, it could potentially go where, wherever. I mean, you have to obviously switch out the Norway part and, and uh, uh, put in some other country. It could right. be Uganda, okay. it could be Canada, yeah. it could be Newfoundland. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through all the countries. No, no, no. I, I was, it was a test of memory whether you could actually remember them all. Yeah, it, I, I, I got yeah. some. But okay, okay. Uh, but tell, me, tell me a country beginning with B. D, Djibouti. Uh, uh, pretty good, yeah. nice one, yay! <laughs> any, any other countries? On D, Denmark. Fantastic, yeah. I tell you, Thank we could go through the whole alphabet of countries. Yeah. So, um, so... There's always something in the pipeline, as the uh, as they say. Yeah. After stories from Norway, don't tell anybody. Nobody's listening. Okay. But what have you got happening next? We've got uh, weeks and weeks on in the Riviera. And oh. And oh, that sounds that, that sounds spa, terrible, terrible. Massages. Oh There's no. There's lots of massages in the future. Oh no. Me. Listen, I've got an idea. There's a great massage down the road. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh God. Yes. <laughs> absolutely. Sounds it's great. It's gonna be brilliant. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to say. I think we've, I think we've exhausted all we need to know about Norway, even though there's ten tons more to know. So, gentlemen, anything um, you'd like to ask me? No, this was the exact questions we wanted. So we've told really? it all. Really? Oh, want to you ask him something. I mean, oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can ask me something if you like. Yeah. What? What? What's it like? What's it like being? Uh, so two-dimensional for now. Well, I tell you something. Um, it, being two-dimensional. That means that you don't get it. Uh, you don't, you're not a hit with the girls. I can tell you that much. <laughs> so are you, are you in a relationship? Uh, am I in a relationship? Yes, I am in a relationship with these two uh, fellows um, right here. Oh, yeah. Can you see them here? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, take a bow. That's uh, that's Diablo, and this is Angelo here. And uh, Angelo is a very uh, um, he's well. What can I say? He's like this. Steve Jobs never got into heaven. He couldn't get past Gates. Uh, yeah, well, that's the sort of jokes he comes up with, and uh, and and that's why we try and bypass him. Yeah, very you know. Charming. Yeah, they're very charming very guys, charming. but not as charming as you two guys. Oh, so, gentlemen, you. gentlemen, I have so much enjoyed meeting you. Uh, I know that my kids will be incredibly jealous. My 21-year-old will be incredibly jealous that I've met you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and grown-ups everywhere, all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. The Elvis Brothers. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank say you hello. For us. Thank, Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Goodbye from Nip TV Show and Imagination in Motion. I am David Fox, and you have been watching Mip TV. Yeah. Take care. <laughs>